Well, Needham girls basketball set some lofty expectations for themselves at the beginning of the year. A look at the standings back in January might have surprised some people to see the Rockets sitting with a record of 4-3. and three. However, the girls went on 11-2 run in their final 13 games to finish the regular season at 15-5, and five, earning their number four seed in the D1 South bracket. With the top four seed, the Rockets clinched their first home playoff game since 2009. Their first round opponent was the 13th seed, Brockton. The girls played the first half of a playoff doubleheader on Thursday, I'm sorry, Tuesday, February 26. And we have some highlights, and we're going right now to them. So we're early on, Rockets working the ball down low. Julie Evans over to Kiara McIntyre. The shot rolls off, but Evans snags the put back. Brockton's on the other hand working uh, some triangle passing. Alexandra Williams feeds Antoinette Okono, Oko, and she puts the baseline bucket in. Mariana Jansen comes back the other way for Needham, drives the lane before throwing up the tear drop floater. Boxes keep right up with the Rockets. Williams dishes back to Jade Wint. Her three pointer is true and ties the game. Brockton now up by one after a free throw. Pass over to Jansen on the wing, takes one step inside the three point line. Knocks in the jumper, two points. Rocket, now it's 11 to eight after one. Elizabeth Williams pulls up uh, from way downtown and banks in a three ball. Needham then goes on an 8-0 run in the final 130 of the half. Steal here on the baseline, leads to an outlet to McIntyre. She takes it all the way and uses the backboard for two. Later, the Rockets beat the zone as they pass to Caroline Clem at the three-four line. She turns around and swishes in the jump shot. Final seconds here, Clem gathers the inbound pass, drives and tosses it off the glass right there. A pair of free throws from McIntyre makes it 21-13 at halftime. Jump to late in the third, Rockets still up by eight. McIntyre takes over, pushes up the court, drives, gets bumped, still finishes and gets a three-point play out of it with the free throw. Next position, Clem outlets to McIntyre again. Once again, she goes hard to the hoop, double pumps and scores. Then we got defense here for McIntyre. Picks the pocket of Williams. Watch the juniors just speed by everyone on her way to the hoop. McIntyre scores nine of Needham's 11 points in the third quarter. To the fourth, Jansen on offense. Tricks the defense with the fake handoff. Drives baseline and finishes with the bucket. Now it's back to McIntyre on defense. Tips the pass, picks up the steal, takes it to the hoop herself again, finishing with a double clutch. In the final minutes now, add another steal to the stats column for McIntyre. She throws a long pass ahead to wide open Jansen. She puts it in for two more. Rockets pull away and they win by a final score of 40 to 26 for their first home playoff victory in 10 years. McIntyre finishes with a game high 17 points while Clem and Jansen each add eight. Needham has another home playoff game in the quarterfinals on Friday, March 1st against Bishop Fian. Well, the second part of the basketball doubleheader featured the Needham Highs boys basketball team. The Rockets finished the regular season with a 14-6 record, including a 10-3 mark in the Bay State Conference to capture the Hergut Division title. The Rockets earned a number seven seed in the tournament, setting up a first round contest with Zavarian. Needham defeated the Hawks 62-46 on December 29th, although two of Zavarian's captains Patrick Mogan and Andrew Clark did not play in that game. The Hawks were certainly happy to have both those players back for this rematch. And we got some more highlights right here. So, good start here for the Rockets. Phil Nikolaev drives and throws down a shot off the glass. Next possession for Needham, Christian Rufo's layup attempt is blocked by Patrick Mogan. You're going to see a lot of that in this game. Shortly after, Hawks up by three. Rockets with a flawless press break. Touch pass to Nikolaev to Matt Smith off the off for the basket. More Nikolaev here. He crashes the board off a missed three ball. Tosses in the putback. Midway through the quarter, Rockets trying to score in the paint, but Mogan steps up with a big block. And that leads to Ty Murphy quickly going the other way. Euro steps around Will Dorian for the lay-in. Still here in the first, Jack Idelson picks up the loose ball, but he has a shot denied by Mogan, the Hawks senior with three blocks in the quarter. To the second quarter, Zaveri up by seven. Mark Henley Lima gets the defense moving one way before passing to Andrew Clark on the block for two. Later, Kyle Sullivan picks up the steal of Lima, races down the court, but oh, Mogan hustles for the chase down block again. A minute later, it's Mogan on offense now, Gets up for the offensive rebound and the putback. Zaveri now leads 28-17 at halftime. 
in the third quarter. Needham is trying to get back in this one. Dorian on the fast break takes it to the right of body of Mogan and finishes strong. However, Mogan answers on the other end. Deep in the post on Matt Smith, fakes left, finishes going to his right. Hawks take a nine point lead into the final frame. The decisive sequence comes with Zaverian still up by nine here. Murphy drains a three pointer of the cross court assist from Mogan. Next possession, Lima keeps the dribble alive before he dishes to Ryan Douglas and he knocked it down from deep. Finally, the Hawks with a late inbound play. Mogan spots Murphy, cutting behind the defense for an easy two. Severian comes into Needham and beats the Rockets by a score 62-47. Essentially flipping the script from the game these two teams played back in December, Will Dorian finishes with a game-high 13 points for Needham. Patrick Mogan finishes with a double-double of 10 points and 11 rebounds for the Hawks, while also notching six blocks. Rockets sees it ends with a final record of 14-7. and seven. Well.